Hiller's softball took on Norton this past Tuesday. Bottom of the third, Hiller's got the scoring going. The 1-0, and this is roped into center field. Emily Whalen around to score. Katie Holly is behind her. She will come around to score. And it is going to be a two-run double for Alyssa McIntyre. The Hillers take the 2-0 lead. And Kessler gets a piece of this one up the right side. Glove by the second baseman. Throw to first. But a run will come around to score. And that is a sacrifice ground out for Kester. And she'll be credited with the RBI. And she'll get a piece of this one over to right field. And it's dropped. And another run will come around to score. Chevery reaches on the right fielder's error. And Alyssa McIntyre comes around for the fourth Hillers run. Top of the fourth, Norton trying to get some offense going, but Katie Holly had other plans. Line up and the pitch. Hit high in the air, over to center field. Katie Holly with an incredible catch. She had a range way in and came to a slide and was able to glove it for out number two. What a defensive play by Katie Holly. The tremendous catch was out number two. The next hitter flew out to end the inning. Hillers added on in the bottom of the fourth. Bignani striking out twice so far. But she'll get a piece of this one over to right field. It goes, that's going to get down. For a base hit, McCluskey rounding first, heading to second, and it rolls all the way to the fence out there. Holly 0-4-1 with a walk. And she'll get a piece of this one over to center field. It goes, McCluskey being waved around. She's going to head home and score the fifth Hiller's run of the game. An RBI double for Katie Holly. Top of the seventh, sophomore Destiny McGrath at the plate with her Norton Lancers trailing 5 to nothing. And this is ripped oh. in the air, and that is gone, a home run. Destiny McGrath tattoos that ball, and it's a five to two ball game. That was absolutely crushed beyond the right center fence. She hits the two run homer, but that would be it for Norton. The Hillers take the game five to two. The next day, the Hillers took down Westwood 22 to 10 and improved to 6 and 1 overall on the season. That same day, Hillers baseball took on Bridgewater Raynham. Hillers drove in some runs in the bottom of the second. There's a ball hit down the left field line, and that's fair. Kelly's turning to third. He's going to go home. Throw into third base, not in time. And Cole's got a Two bagger and an RBI. That up. That's beaten down the first baseline. Picked up. Kennedy's got to squeeze it. That's your 45 foot base hit. One that will leave you shaking your head on the way back to the dugout. Here's a ground ball to the left side. Picked up by the shortstop. It's got to squeeze it. The run scores. Three to nothing. Bottom of the fourth, Cole Glasper and struck again. There's a ground ball in the right field. That's going to score Kelly. And he's two for two. Well, I guess Cole didn't stick his foot in his mouth as he usually does. Didn't say he was going to get any hits. I asked him how many bags he was going to swipe today. He said, I've never seen you run. The run put the Hillers up four to nothing. They would hang on for the 5-3 win. Hiller has improved to 5-1 overall with the win.